anti-American Spurs just enraged every fan with huge message they broadcasted before their last game. Prior to the year 2017, being a professional athlete was about your ability to play your chosen game and how much you'd help your team achieve victory. The rise of the social justice warrior on the playing fields, or courts, has put that to an end though. Every player is now considered both on their athletic ability and the political views that they bring with them. The problem of politics is no longer relegated to the NFL since the NBA and other leagues are getting in on the fun. The NBA is taking a much firmer stance, with the NBA commissioner making it clear that he expects his players to stand for the anthem. Many have still chosen to lock arms in an apparent show of solidarity with their protesting counterparts in the NFL. However so far no kneeling. San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich has been loudly anti-Trump at every turn, and couldn't resist the opportunity to make his political feelings known in a pre-game show against the Minnesota Timberwolves. According to The Hill, the coach is trying to make sure that his message gets out, even if they're banned from kneeling like the NFL players are doing. The San Antonio Spurs called for real change and equality in a pro-social justice message before their game against the Minnesota Timberwolves Wednesday night. Both NBA teams stood for the national anthem, then linked arms as a slideshow played across the jumbotron calling for unity and equal opportunity for education and economic advancement regardless of race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation or religion. There are things happening in our communities that need our attention, the message read, according to ESPN. We understand your desire to attend our games as an escape and chosen form of entertainment. In that, we feel there is a significant commonality in all of us that allows our community to be so special. It is our hope that we can, as a community, inspire and evoke real change. We ask that you join with us in your daily lives in the pursuit of equality. And in that. We honor our country by exercising demands for what this great nation has promised and what our military continues to fight for. So essentially, they understand what you want, they hear what you've asked for, but they decided that pushing their political agenda was more important, even if it alienates their fans. Apparently, any place that cameras are present is a good enough platform for the social justice warriors, athletes of today. According to Popovich, the message was warmly received by the crowd who attended Wednesday's game. However, considering his overt disdain for the president and everything that our country was founded on, it's unlikely that any other response would have been accepted or reported by the biased coach. Popovich has got so far as to call President Trump a soulless coward in a recent interview when asked his opinion on a political issue. It's unclear why this basketball coach thinks that he's on par with the president of the United States but he obviously wants to make his voice heard. In contrast to the socially aware statements being made by the Spurs, the Dallas Mavericks with Mark Cuban at the helm made a very different impression on guests at their game. Yahoo Sports reported that the video that aired before the Mavs home game against the Hawks was one that had a clearly patriotic theme. The video the Mavericks aired before Wednesday's home opener against the Atlanta Hawks featured the images of many players, past and present but no direct messages about the issues of police brutality against people of color and racial inequality, which have been at the heart of athlete demonstrations begun last year by Colin Kaepernick in the NFL and continued thereafter by players in other sports leagues. Rather, the tribute video featured first-person narrative from the perspective of the American flag, delivered over a bagging track in the style of early arcade fire. Cuban is also outspokenly anti-Trump but he knows that that has nothing to do with the respect that is owed the flag. Cuban, like President Trump, has made billions by working hard in a country that still rewards hard work. No matter what you think about individuals or small groups, the flag still stands for freedom and equality, and thankfully there are those who still support it. I see a city and country where the people respect me for who I am and what I represent. The personified flag says in the video, I am this country's common ground, the most recognizable symbol in the world. Everyone is allowed to have an opinion, and unless their bosses require differently, they're even allowed to share those opinions at work. However, 
If we want to retain our rights and freedoms, we should absolutely take those anti-American sentiments personally. Evil will prevail if we don't take a stand against it. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.